ended up creating the CIA and NASA were from Operation Paperclip. So right away. For sure, NASA. So when you look at this, if the Nazis were trying to scare their own people with fake UFOs, they must have came in and said, dude, you guys aren't on the UFO shit. You got to scare your people. So that's exactly when all the comic books, were, all these so space minute, comic wait, wait, books. Wait so the Germans were scaring their people with UFOs before the United States got yes. scared with them? Yes. Lichtenstein is a big banking empire. And kind of they funded a lot of Adolf Hitler's work. And um, uh, the crown prince is their king. So this is a man that I've met with and um, known for a number of years. I think this is dated 1994. Um, and Hans Adam von Lichtenstein, um, the first time I called, the, I was asked to call the, the castle, uh, his butler or someone picked up and then he was immediately put on and we talked and he says, well, I don't want to talk on the phone too much, but we should meet and President Bush and a man at the UN named Perez de Cuellar, who was the Secretary General at the time. I had done briefings with uh, the predecessor, the, um, uh, the one after Boutrous Boutrous Ghali. And he said to me, the reason I on the phone told you that it wouldn't be allowed isn't that it wouldn't be allowed from the point of view of the government. But the aliens won't allow it. I said, well, that's ridiculous. I mean, since we've been talking, we've gone down to Mexico, had a craft come out. I said, they're obviously wanting to make contact if we do it in a peaceful way and not a military way. He says, well, this was attempted before you started your organization. Met with on a committee, very sensitive and classified, to organize basically what I did with the Disclosure Project to announce that we weren't alone and end the secrecy. Saying these things aren't otherworldly, but I've uncovered and talked to enough people over the years in America to know that the Americans have craft that can do amazing things that are never seen in the public arena. And thus, when people see what they're capable of, the immediate reaction, understandably, is, well, human technology could never do that. Well, human technology you know about could never do that. Sergeant, who was the badass guy who threatened to kill everyone, all those ranchers who saw this thing crash. His son became a part of Magic Security, this renegade group, this splinter group, who was involved with abductions and stopping leaks within Magic itself. They, he then went and was in the security detail that night and set up the electronics for this electronic warfare abduction of aliens. It was all a hoax. It wasn't ET at all. It was 100% military ops. But Paris de Cuellar thought that that was an actual alien abduction. And I had the, I said, well, with your highness, with all due respect, there are technologies that would facilitate this kind of deception. And the military term, so you know it, is a false INW, or a deceptive INW, indication and warning. And it's basically like the you know, Gulf of Tonkin event in Vietnam. You basically exaggerate or hoax an event that then man manipulates policymakers. So this was the ultimate takedown of official disclosure which was about to happen in 1989. Got it? 26 years ago, November 1989. To have a public arena cutting edge of technological possibility and then a real cutting edge in the underground basis of secret projects. Because when you start using them, the population say, well, nothing humans have created could do that got to be very cautious about that and very streetwise as it moves on because it's going to move on and we have the testimony of his assistant that he and, and, and said they will first have the Cold War then we decided there would be nations of concern then global terrorism we have this testimony from before 9-11 then that would be followed by threats from outer space. They'll start talking about asteroids and things of this sort, but the ultimate one they're gonna play is the alien threat, and it's all a lie, and it's all a hoax. But in order for the lie to work, they have had to create a body of disinformation, false information, and frightening scenarios 
and actual events that would be convincing to our policymakers like Reagan, convincing to the average person and to the UFO public that consumes videos, entertainment consoles, movies, etc. And that has been the 50 to 60 year plan. I knew how to do it and, and it's an old idea. It's an old idea. Sure. The way everybody, the old, the ancient Roman emperors, they all won, they all dreamt for that one world government. They couldn't pull it off. There was no way they could pull it off because the only way to make a new world order actually happen is you got to get the people to embrace it. You can't force them into it. So you got to mind fuck them to embrace a new world order. You got to make them want it. Otherwise, they're not going to do it. They just stay in their own little tribe. Exactly. Yeah, and all the Get him in, like at the CFR, he goes, wouldn't all our jobs be a little bit easier if there was some sort of threat, some extraterrestrial threat? Ching, the tech, we have the technology now with holograms, now we could do it. It's always so. been, for hundreds of years, they knew that. They knew that, but they couldn't pull it off. How are you going to pull it off? How okay. They're used enough to create a groundswell of conviction that there's an alien threat. So you take that capability, combine it with man-made UFOs, combine it with disinformation in general about the subject, and also certain chemicals, and you can launch an entire contagion of fear that's based on completely man-made false events. So this is the false flag event I wanted to warn you about. It, and people say, when is that going to happen? I said, it's happened already. It's already happened. The media, the film industry, any UFO conference you go to is going to be filled unwittingly usually, not always unwittingly, but usually with information that is this kind of disinformation designed to create an us versus them dynamic of an alien threat. It's nothing compared to what they could do like in the movie Independence Day where they stage an attack using man-made anti-grabs that look very ET with this kind of technology that there is a threat or an attack on Earth and which is, has a very xenophobic ring to connote the man-made ones and the ETs are the ones that are interstellar. The aliens that are man-made are ones that are completely under the control of these paramilitary operations and the stagecraft, if you use the language of this Strategic Studies Institute document, is so good that it would fool anyone. The president, the CIA, you could abduct, and they did. They abducted Paris de Cuellar out of his limousine using this stuff, and he thought it was E.T. And that's why they killed the initial plan to end secrecy at the end of the Cold War. Gorbachev was on board, Reagan was on board, Paris de Cuellar, head of the UN, Prince of Liechtenstein was involved, et cetera, and so on. Killed it. Now, now we're getting, this I know is where everyone's going, can this man have lost his mind? Every word I'm telling you is true. This is the heart of the secrecy. How do you convince people there's another species to hate?